oh no, we got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Pick your line and pick your signs. Listen, y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this damn madhouse. Okay? Y'all get it? With me, your host, Khadija, is getting just as crazy, crazy, crazy. Woo, we going to hell in the rocket ship. So, um, I think there's, um, a lot to be said to be living in a country that's in total decline and on the way out. I always wondered about those great civilizations like Egypt and Rome. And what happens is when the people that God allowed to have rulership over his people, and when they don't do right, Eventually, your kingdom is going to come down. I mean, and sadly, sadly, Lord, we next, because I can't even begin to explain the madness that's going on right now. So I'm going to do a few videos, and, I, and, and these are some stories that really freaking bothered me. I really tried to stay away, but um, they kind of force it down your throat. So now, we got a third suspect, 20, arrested over Alabama Sweet 16 shooting that left four people dead. He joins two brothers, 16 and 17, charged with reckless murder. Wilson Lamar Hill Jr., 20, uh, joins his brother, Tyreek McCullough, Travis McCullough, he's 16 and the other one is 17, behind bars for reckless murder after they allegedly opened fire at a Dadeville celebration on April 15th. Okay? Because we can't just keep looking at um, this killing one way. At least not if you're going to be objective and know that this is a problem with everybody. You can't just say white people is a problem. Okay? Because we are real, real, real problem to ourselves. We, are, are, we are already supposed to only be 11% of the population. So we helping them kill us. This is the only thing I can say about what, what what's going on right now. Um, and these are the children that took, um, I mean, that had to have been, in my opinion, honest opinion. I wonder, was any of these kids on Ritalin, any of those psychotropic drugs um, that they mama tried to get a check for? And now these kids are out of control, so young and so crazy. Okay? I know because they wanted me to administer them, and I couldn't do it. And when I seen them little kids all black around the eyes and shit, I was like, uh-uh. That's enough of this. I can't be no weapon tree for the government and just know that these kids need to feel some stuff. They need to feel some stuff. That's what's wrong with them. They witness too much and they need to feel it and be able to talk about it. Not just be doped up. Because where that stuff is going is to go? They love brains and bodies and hearts and minds and lungs and livers and sh stuff is still growing. And you're putting them on Thorazine. You're putting them on Adderall. You're putting them on Ritalin. You're putting them on every day. Okay. I digress. Let me go back over here. <sighs> he 
Hill was arrested after the two brothers, all three were charged as adults and um, ordered to be held without bond. Okay? Because y'all 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 don't need to see the light of day no more. You would you would disgrace to the community. You was disgraced to, as a black man. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. These people are disgraceful. Birthday girl Alexis Doubt, though, was partying with her friends and family at the Mahogany Masterpiece Dance Studio at around 10.30 p.m. when the tragedy occurred, leading to the death of her high school football star brother. Phil Stavius Dowdell, 18. Three other victims were identified as Corbin DeMontre Holson, 23, Sean Kivia Nicole Smith, 17, Marciah El Emmanuel Collins, 19. Young people just having fun. Just having fun. Celebrating their birthday. And here comes some sad ass mitfits that ain't never had no love. Ain't never felt important. And now they hate. You know, this is what. Hmm. This is the hate that hate produces. Or as Tupac said, the hate you give little infants, what do it do? It fucks everybody. So y'all keep hating on black people, hating on us from the womb, trying to destroy us from the womb. And we know you hate us on a spiritual level. You are open enemy. Everything you do is to kill and castrate. And I don't mean to make this this kind of a situation, but I'm just telling you what it is and spiritually what, what is happening. This is the hate that hate produces. These kids, they don't got no feelings for you or nobody else. The tar they got misplaced anger, though. And they carrying their grandmamas and their great-grandmamas and their great-grandmamas and their great-great-great-great-grandmamas pain. And that allows them to do something so hideous in something like this. Oh, no, no, and no, women, they got to be held accountable. So I don't want you to think I'm trying to make an excuse for these individuals. They must be put away. They rabbit dogs. That's what they are. They rabbit. Ugh. <sighs> Let me finish. This is the tip of the iceberg. We're going to make sure every one of those victims has justice and not just the deceased. See, you need law enforcement now. Now we, we need them. Okay? Alabama law enforcement agency Jeremy Burkett said, Make no mistake, this is Alabama. And when you pull out a gun and you start shooting people, we're going to put you in jail. Not Florida. The shooting at the dance studio on North Brack Broadneck Street also led to Phil Stavia's mother also being injured. No high-powered rifle ammunition was recovered from the scene, but special agents did find numerous shell cases from handguns. Speaking previously about a different reckless murder charge, Russell County District Attorney Kenneth Davis explained that sometimes it's called in case law is having in case law having a depraved heart. It means you committed an act so reckless that it endangers anyone and everyone, not just a specific person, but anyone. Both teenagers had been charged with four counts of a class A felony which means that they could be jailed for a minimum of 10 years to life. Phil Stavius was 
reward, awarded a full scholarship to Jacksonville State back this past February and had been set to graduate in a matter of weeks. I mean, the best of our community. The best. God, my God, it's hard, like I said, because this makes no damn sense, makes no sense, no, I do not feel sorry for the trash that shot these young people down. 19-year-old Messiah Emmanuel Sia Collins left and Corbin DeMontre Holston right, were both killed in the shooting. He's got some pictures. Um, this is coming out from the Daily Mail. Nice-looking kids. As a senior set to graduate in a matter of weeks, he was just seen celebrating with his sister. A sweet 16 birthday turned horrible. Horrible. Initially, investigators said they did not have any suspects, but made the double arrest just days later. Investigators have been following up on strong leads in the shooting, Daveville Police Jonathan Floyd said earlier this week. After days without significant answers from authority, Alexis and Phil Tavia's mother, Latanya Allen, who was shot twice in the attack, has been anxiously waiting news. She told CNN, I just want justice for my baby and all the other kids that were involved. They took away a piece of my heart. And I know the other mothers and fathers feel the same way. The attack was one of more than 160 mass shootings that have taken place so far this year in the U.S., according to the Gun Violence Archive. This is real. It's real. And we just re-traumatize in our communities more and more and more. And the standard is so low. The bar is set so low. And what we accept, who we hide, it's like we getting used to all this. This shit ain't normal. This is not normal. None of it. God bless America, man. If you like what you hear, I'm I'm gonna go because I hate to hear about young people just, especially with such promising futures being wiped out by scumbag. I'll see y'all in the next video.